What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It's David here with Mac Tutorials 14, and we are back with another jailbreak update video. Alright guys, so as you can see, we are back, and so today I'm going to be talking about the long related iOS 7.1.1 or 7.1x jailbreak. Alright guys, so um, again, so this really started about a month ago at WWJC in a uh, in basically an interview by the iDownload blog team. Uh, famous hacker Pod2G was interviewed by the iDownload blog team, and he said, quote, not today, and I don't know about the future. I started to look at it, and I started to find some stuff. I think it's possible. It depends on what happens. I mean, if we have a jailbreak in one month, for sure we will release it. If it happens in three months, we might have to wait for iOS E. But I'm definitely on it, definitely trying to find something." Unquote. So again, um, that's pretty much it for right now. Um, keep in mind that it's entirely possible that another person or group could come up with um, a valuable iOS 7.1 jailbreak and the evaders could still surprise us, but rest assured that we will let you know as soon as possible if and when that happens, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I'm looking at a article on iDownload blog if, um, you know, you guys want to quote me. But anyway, anyway, so, um, that's basically, uh, what, that's basically what Pod2G had to say about that. And then basically about a week ago, uh, Posix Ninja basically tweeted out, um, you know, something kind of regarding the iOS 7.x jailbreak or 7.1.1 um, jailbreak basically saying um, so there's something's big something big is about to happen uh, about to happen stay tuned on his official Twitter and a lot of people were thinking well you know um, what could this mean does this mean the 7.1 jailbreak 7.1.1 um, or whatever uh, does this mean a downgrade what does this mean um, so you know he didn't really ever answer that um, but basically yeah so that happened, and then actually in a uh, surprise little uh, release today, actually what happened was um, Ionic post, posted a uh, picture of a jailbroken iPhone 5C running iOS 7.1.1 on his official Twitter, and it says, quote, I'll just leave this here. By the way, it is Sunday. That iOS 7.1.1 jailbreak is not based on a long vulnerability chain. It uses a single beautiful kernel bug that goes from mobile to kernel. And quote, and that is by Ionic, and that was said on his official uh, Twitter page um, because he did post that on May 17th. Um, so it, it kind of, you know, it's getting around the one month mark that, um, you know, that Pod2G was talking about in the interview. Um, so. It's either, you know, Ionic kind of, you know, surprised us a little bit. Um, but anyway, it's entirely possible that, um, you know, Ionic and Pod2G are not the only ones working on this. Again, um, on the iOS 7.x jailbreak or on the iOS 7.0 jailbreak, um, actually a number of different teams were working on a jailbreak for iOS 7.0, um, including actually Cirque himself was working um, on a jailbreak with a bunch of other uh, jailbreak developers. I think Geohot was in it. Um, you know, the, I think they were, uh, Geohot was definitely in on it, um, and there were a couple of other guys that were in on it, um, and then the evaders just basically decided to go ahead and release it before anyone else could. Um, and so that's kind of the way that happened, and thus Evasion 7 was created. So, um, Evasion 7 is a tool that is, um, you know, that is capable of jailbreaking iOS 7.0 through iOS 7.0.6 using a uh, kernel that has been patched in iOS 7.1 and 7.1.1 by Apple. Um, so we knew that this was going to be patched a while ago. But anyway, um, so I'll just, uh, I'll tell you guys. Uh, so in another, um, basically in another um, little tweet, WinOCM tweeted out, quote, I was bored today, so I did this. Again, in another way, unquote. And he listed a um, YouTube video. Now, just note the fact that I will not be able to include the entire full video because it is four minutes long. Um, so I'm going to speed it up as well as I don't want to get copyright for the song. So I'm going to actually substitute um, that song that was in the video for a different song. So I'm going to roll that clip for you right now. <laughs>
All right, guys. So that video was actually um, that video was actually about an iPhone 4 being jailbroken on iOS 7.1.1. Um, now, no, that was actually what that actually was was that was actually um, an untether um, you know package showing that Windows CM had figured out how to make the um, the actual tether geek snow untethered. Um, using the certain thing that he really that he um, used. Now this could mean that it was a new tool. It could mean that he tweaked around with the GUI of Geek Snow or whatever to tweak it to make it um, an untethered package, like he did with POSIX Bone um, in the beginning for only a four devices. Um, but anyway, guys, yeah. So this is definitely really um, really interesting, and I can't wait to see what happens in the next coming um, you know days to weeks to months to all that kind of stuff. Maybe we'll even maybe something will even be released tomorrow who knows but anyway guys thanks for watching please make sure to like comment and subscribe this is david signing out